Casting ballots in the special election, 60,000 Pennsylvanians, the state's 37th Senate district. With all the precincts reporting, the Democrat Pam Iovino gets the win over the Republican D. Raja. 52% of the vote vote, excuse me, going to Iovino. KDK Amy Wattis joins us now live this morning with details on what it means for the area. Good morning, Rick. The 37th District State Senate seat has largely been controlled by the Republicans for the past half century, but last night that changed. Democrat Pam Iovino claimed victory last night, beating out opponent Republican D. Raja. The 37th District has been viewed as increasingly friendly to Democrats and has a Democrat registration edge. Iovino fills the seat vacated by Republican Guy Reschenthaler who now serves in Congress. She's a Navy veteran who held a top U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs post. Raja is the chief executive of an information technology consulting firm. Now, Ayavino claimed victory shortly before 10 o'clock last night. Raja conceded and congratulated Ayavino. Ayavino says she is ready to get to work. The voters have spoken and you respect, you respect their choice. Uh, you know, I called Pam Iovino uh, about five, ten minutes ago, offered her my congratulations, and uh, certainly told her she, she has served our country, and we look forward to her service as a state senator. I really do want to get to work. That's why. It's the reason that I did it to begin with. So, my last final thank you to everybody. Now, in recent days, both state parties sent mailers linking Raja to President Donald Trump. Trump won the district by six percentage points in 2016, but Democratic Governor Tom Wolf won it by a double digit margin in 2018. Now, voters in the State House District 11 in Butler County will vote in the special election. That's coming up next month. Democrat Sam Doctor is facing off with Republican Marcy Mastello to replace Brian Ellis. The Republican resigned last month after being accused of sexual assault. That special election is scheduled for May 21st. Reporting live, Amy Wattis, KDKA News on Pittsburgh, CW.